Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today's video, it's a matter of a discussion whether you guys should be worried or not. Or, that includes me. Should we be worried about Exos Heroes? So, to answer that, I'd like to give you guys a bit more of a background. Just a bit of a comparison. Um, Around a year ago, before I transferred to exo zeros i was actually playing raid shadow legends i played raid nearly two years before i left but again more or less during their first year they weren't they weren't that great of a game in terms of content as well we had uh, problems or they had problems in terms of having uh having to put out uh, content they just kept on you know same same as exos keep uh, kept on putting out heroes kept, kept on putting out fate cores in which where are, are we going to use these heroes but eventually they came up with um, i think it was um i forgot the game mode it's um based on faction wars sorry it came out with faction wars and more or less that was the start of more content for them okay but aside from that i actually am the, the reason for me leaving raid because again when i saw this game the first time i saw this game i was really impressed because number one to discuss one of the pros because of the artwork so as you can see on your screen the artwork is over the top it's a 10 out of 10 character design, fate core design, animations. It's actually spot on or even exceeding everybody's expectations. So this drew me to the game. And by the, by the artwork only, I transferred from Raid to Exos Hero. So, um, but more or less moving forward, Exos has been a game where, number one, it will never run out of a niche market. Because, number one, this game is actually very considerate on your time. I usually play this every day. I play this for an hour or even less. Then I'm done for the day. I just go back for more PvP when when my, when it's, it's, it's already refilled. But more or less, the game is very considerate, considerate with your time. That's a second one in terms of uh, their pros. The next one is third is generous compensation. Of course, you've 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 experienced it. I've experienced it. Um, the generous compensation that they give not only if they do have a misstep in terms of their own, you know, uh, let's say for example, in summoning missteps, in summoning problems or rate problems, they give out a big compensation, but they actually give you big rewards as well for this so nothing to complain about there that is actually what i like also about exos and last is more on the story the story takes you into a different world wherein there are a lot of things involved a lot of factions involved a lot of nations involved um the story actually is very simple in the start then quickly escalates into this you know um congregation of nations and now um as you can see in my screen we'll be get getting season four already so we're in season four after a year so more or less a lot of things to look forward to but before we celebrate on those pros i'd like to point out a couple of things before you know before uh we close this discuss this, this discussion so number one is cons is lack of content they've been you know they've been promising this already in the past few um director's note again i'll just say this again because it hasn't reached us and um there are a lot of uh, speculation uh on 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 the pre-season launch of art burst that you know i hope that it you know, launches into a full season so more or less again it's the lack of content Number two is game balance. Nations are a bit, are a bit lopsided. Three nations are very good or even two. 
then the rest are just on the sidelines looking at them fighting each other and the last is leveling up of heroes is what i don't really like i've been playing the game for nearly a year but most of my heroes are still um at level t uh, sorry at, at level 90 something we i haven't reached a hundred for even for one of my heroes so that is actually my frustration also fixes they need to fix infinity core probably just take out preseason and probably launch the game season or season one uh number two is coliseum it's actually it's, it's actually garbage so that game game mode is actually garbage that needs a fix quantum raid as well i hope they discontinue quantum raid um not anymore a different version but discontinue it and dedicate more resources to other better things and to close this more or less in five days we will be getting in the middle picture season four party eve which is the first global anniversary of exos hero so the exos has been quiet for the last few days no no peak um they they're preparing for a big party hopefully but more or less um this better be a big party this better be something that the community is looking you know is is needing and the community is you know um is actually anxious about what they're going to reveal there isn't even a choreverse today so for Sunday, there's no core reverse for Monday, and I'm expecting that will go directly to the first year anniversary. Probably they're they're going to announce it on hopefully on Tuesday, Wednesday, then put it out on Thursday. But more or less, um, any my 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 best guess is actually could be anywhere next week. So more or less something to look forward to exos actually is just uh, for me is just scratching the surface of their potential of their capabilities of where they want to go but more or less they should act now because a lot of games are on their heels and ready to pounce on them so that is my take on exos heroes more or less i still see a bright future for them for the game I'm sticking around because I love the game. I love it so much. And content, I will do very much for you guys. Um, I, I still love the game. I still love what, what they're putting out. And hopefully, they can actually turn the corner and more or less, you know, make the players happy. Keep them entertained. And uh, more content, guys. More content for the future. Okay, so if you have any comments about the first year anniversary for Global, please um, put them down in the comment section below. Okay, guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.